Welcome back to the lab. Welcome back to EE for everyone. Today we've got a very exciting video for you. We are going to replace this main board and I'm pretty excited about that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We had a few options we were thinking about either building our own converter board or replacing this main board. Um, here's what I found. I did some research, here's what I found. First of all, uh, there are off-the-shelf converter boards to go from HDMI or DisplayPort or both to a display interface, like to a display panel interface. The only thing you need to know is what panel you have and what interfaces you want to come from, and then maybe some resolution, frame rate, whatever information. That depends on what converter you need. It's actually pretty straightforward, and there have been videos made by non-technical people that really have no idea how electronics work um, produced on doing that. So um, I'm honestly kind of glad that I didn't need to design one because it would just be kind of noise. It's not really something that's necessary. We could do it, but it doesn't seem necessary. You know, after doing this, uh, this process of researching whether we would make a converter or buy replacement, ultimately decided to buy a replacement board. Because after all, uh, the better half and I agreed that fixing this TV was our highest priority and definitely the first project that needed to get done. For those who might be interested in what is on this board, yeah, let me zoom in. All right, so we've got something there. That one is likely a power supply or a uh, Class D amp. There you go. Uh, over on the other side, this is where we might have our memory IC. Beauty. And I don't know if we did this one already, but this one was the one that really stood out to me previously. Um, this is the same name and same markings as the panel. That's about all we did, so I'm, I'm not going to replace the board and then replace it again because I don't want to risk damaging this any more than I have. Extra handling steps, it's just an opportunity to break it. But what we did is we took out the four, the four screws and pulled out the ribbon cables and the power and plugged in the new board, moved the plastic over. It was very straightforward, took all of three minutes. And um, yeah, assuming that this board was good, the replacement that we got should be, should be good to go. No problem, no worry. Whew. All right, the panel is here, plugged in. Let's see what happens when I try to turn it on. Hey, we got a light flashing. Got a TCL Roku TV. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, let's go. Got a get started menu. All right. So assuming this thing doesn't just immediately self-destruct. Oh, I can't update. All right, well, hey, we are to the home screen. Everything looks good. I'm gonna put in the rest of the screws and uh, get this thing connected to the internet. <laughs> this might be a win. Uh, I gotta say, for how much work it would have been to you know, add a digital board and really fix this up right uh, with a custom thing. That would have been a lot of work. And swapping out the main board took about four minutes. So, yeah, this seems like a win. Saved a couple hundred bucks and, yeah, I guess I'll put a link down in the description for, for what I bought. And, yeah, hopefully this was helpful to you. If you're having a problem where it seems like you keep getting stuck in recovery mode, maybe consider swapping out the main board. It, Seems to have worked out all right for us, but your mileage may vary. Uh, I'm guessing there's more than one bad TV listing on the internet. That's just a gut feel. I, I'm guessing we got pretty lucky with having a TV work first try. Anyways, thanks for watching. As always, special thanks to our Patreon and YouTube channel members. Really appreciate you guys 
uh, supporting us directly. It helps us a lot to do great projects like this one. Um, most of all, hope they learned something great today and I hope to see you again soon. We're gonna have some awesome videos coming up with uh, all kinds of custom board designs and who's it's and what's it's. Uh, it's going to be quite a lot of fun. I, I'm really excited about what we're gonna be bringing to the channel very, very soon. All right, catch you in the next one. Bye.